Morning! Just woke up. That's what you do in the morning. Now I had over to the lodge today, they have a, uh, a tournament, a poker tournament. So I'm gonna go do that while Dan's still sleeping and Grace is ahead of me and she gave me one instruction and it was do not film me. Because last night, let's just say, <laughs> we celebrated my W. <laughs> Not that any of you asked, but this is our rental car, the Sportage. It was an upgrade. It lasted exactly one hand, and let's go play cash. I'm getting a massage now, so I hope that nothing exciting happens. I'm not filming now. I'm just gonna go to sleep. Alright guys, when in Texas you do as Texans do and you don't fold, and that's why I'm under the gun raising with A7 of Clubs. Honestly though, who are we kidding? I probably raise with A7 of Clubs anyway, any casino, because that's just the way I am. Uh, let me introduce myself real quick, because in case you guys don't know, even though you clicked on the vlog that says Adam Rude Poker Vlog, my name is Adam Rude, and uh, this is my poker vlog. If you're new, welcome, and if you're not new, welcome back. And uh, we're at the Lodge. This is, what, day, like, two, I think. And uh, last night we played in the live stream. I already told you that, and you also saw it last week. Now we're just playing a regular 1-2 game with, like, a $300 max buy-in, waiting for our... See in the bigger game, the 1-3 uh, with a $1,000, but it's not really a $1,000 max, so you can just... I mean, no joke, you can just you can pretty much just buy in whatever you want, because it's matched the big stack, and someone always has thousands, and, and so it's, it's pretty cool. So what's going on here? It uh, looks like uh, three of us saw a flop, one person's all in, there's 280 out there, and I'm going to fire 100 bucks on the turn to uh, win that side pot, and also protect my hand if I'm up against, you know, over cards and, 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 and the like, so... Bet that hunter, the guy that I, you know, was still alive there folded, and then it's uh, me and the other the gun player, and he has queens. And what's there to say about this? Uh, this is maybe why you don't play a7 under the gun because the people behind you might have a real hand. Who knows? But uh, win the side pot, I think I break even the hand. So I guess I played a half wreck. All right, this hand starts with an under-the-gun limp. What, you know, before the action gets started here, if you find yourself at the lodge down in Round Rock, Texas, or up if you live south of it, uh, you need to go to Round Rock Donuts, which is kind of like in the same parking lot. Because oh my goodness gracious, gravy! That stuff is delicious. And we, you know, we go at four in the morning because that's when they open, and everybody says, "Well, they're gonna have a huge line." And, and you know, we wait in line. I don't know, maybe ten minutes. Not very long in the drive through there. And when we get to the the person, they have like a person like Chick Fil A does outside taking orders. Dan Raindelay says, well, "What kind of donuts do you have? Like an idiot? What do you mean it's a donut shop? They have donuts. They have glazed and 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 chocolate and and eclairs and bear claws and apple fritter. They're donuts. I mean, come on now. Uh, so in this pot, I'm sorry, I'm getting all 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 mixed up here. Uh, dude goes all in after like a whole bunch of 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 like betting and calling, and then I just you know I go all in too because I have Ace Deuce and in Texas Ace Deuce is like the nuts." Because, I mean, look, he's got Queen 8, so obviously I know, you know, what I'm talking about here. Uh, but don't worry. Don't worry. I have no chance of winning. Queen on the river. Give it to the end of the gun plus two guy. Uh, but, you know, when they, when, you know, on the live stream, Rick is always saying there's a lot of action in Texas. So he ain't kidding. I mean, these guys came to party. And, and you know what? I lost his hand, but I have absolutely, positively no regrets. Guys, I hope you're enjoying your poker vlog, but it's time for a quick commercial. Tonight... Well, if you're watching this the day it came out, there is a charity poker tournament that I am running. Please contact me if that interests you. Here is some information. Moving right along. Uh, so this hand... You, you see, I have that giant, uh, you know, hand that is never going to leave the screen here because I didn't think that I was going to record this spot. I mean, I knew I was recording, but when I saw my hand, I knew I wasn't going to record. So I have a king and, and what looks like a 10, king and a 10. Now, my thumb's blocking it, so I don't actually see that I have two kings because I'm a moron. And so I just call from the big blind, closing the action with two kings. That's, that's not good. Uh, so it comes queen ten three. So I'm thinking here, you know, you see my hand there, just it's just always constantly in the way. I think I have second pair. 
I think I have a pair of I think I have a pair of tens. Uh, so the dude bets forty, and and he calls forty. So I'm gonna throw out forty there to see if I can't, you know, you know, what do the pro say? Pick up equity on the turn. Realize my equity. So that's what I'm trying to do. I'm trying to get to the turn and make two purrs or trip, but I don't. It comes a deucey space. So I'm done. Like, look at my body language. You just tell, oh, I'm done with this pot. So this dude bets 120. The under-the-gun player is going to end up calling. I look back and I see, oh, what? I have, what? I have two kings. I'm staring at it. I can't believe it. I have two, <laughs> I have two kings. I am such a moron. Well, now what do I do? No one. So I raised a 500, and now, the under-the-gun player has to be thinking, well, now hold on now. How could he possibly have anything? On Queen-10-3... Now, move my hand now, because I'm going to start recording. On Queen-10-3, you would say, like, okay, if he had a real hand, he'd have to raise, right? Because of the draw. He'd have to raise because there could be a draw, you know? And, and I have to charge those people. So, he, he, you know, he, he... This is a conundrum for him. He has no idea what I have. He has no idea what I have because I had no idea what I had. And so, you know... He, he doesn't have a very strong hand here, and you might say he's overplaying it. I don't know. But when you, when you you know, throw in the facts that I didn't know that I had a good hand, and I thought, you know, I'm not playing this hand. I'm playing this hand real awkwardly in his eyes, you know. So he makes the uh, the raise all in. It's like a $500 chip for me to call. And uh, who knows if I'm good at this point. I mean, I know I am because, you know, I did the editing, but I didn't know at the time. He has king, queen of diamonds. Like I said, overplaying his hand a little bit. And then I show the the pocket kings, and and you know he you know he he wraps the table, which means that I'm gonna win. Of course, my cards speak; they're I'm gonna win regardless if he taps the table. But I, I think the entire and Grace even looked over at me when this hand was going on, like, "What are you doing? Like seriously?" And yeah, and, you know, whatever. I, I play, did I play the hand poorly? Obviously, but in my defense, I didn't know what I had. You know, I'm not sure if that makes my argument better or worse, but I didn't know what I had, so I like to fall up. All right, we're on the fourth hand in this. Uh, did I even tell you guys that we moved up in stakes earlier? I don't know if I did, but we did. We moved up to 2-3 three or 1-3 three with the $1,000 buying. But look at that dude over there in the corner. He's got like 1500 just in green. So like I said, you can pretty much buy in for whatever you want. So I raised the 15. I get three callers, and I think maybe somebody from the rail calls. We end up going to a flop four ways, and uh, I flop a, a set, three sevens. That's a good flop. And now, this is one of those times where you can't sit on your hand. Well, one, there's four players in the pot, so you, you know you need to you need to bet anyway. But also, there's a king and a jack, and they're the same suit. So there's a lot of draw draw e kind of hands they can have, like you know, like the queen ten, the eight nine, the nine ten, the ace queen. The, I don't need to list them all. There's just a whole bunch, and then plus any two spades. So gotta charge them something. I don't think I charged them enough, but I, I you know I did bet, and here I only bet like. 80 bucks, which is not nearly enough. I don't think so. I think I need about like I need I need a bit like a pot size bet. But anyway, I bet. Oh no, I didn't even bet 80. I bet 75. So the player in the uh, in the one hole there is going to make the call. We're going to go heads up to a river. Now I don't know if I could have hand picked a worse river, and then he just leads right out into it. So what I what uh if I'm going to call this river, I guess I'm going to call any river because this is you know the, the the worst possible one. But what do they say? Curiosity kills the cat, and I'm a cat here, and I'm curious so i'm gonna have to pay this off and he does beat me but not in the way that you would think he has a set of nines on the river so okay well what can i do i bet twice ahead and then i call another beat it's not even a big pot it's just a I want to show this hand for two reasons. One, it's a double board bomb pot. And if you could play double board bomb pots exclusively, like if I walked into the Lodge or Aria or Seminole Hard Rock and they said, hey, we're running 1-3 double board bomb pot, you want to play? Uh, yes. I, I think double board bomb pots are, the, uh, are the, the best poker game out there. So here I flop a set of 10s. If you can lock up one board, which, you know, pocket 10s, it's going to be pretty good on both of these boards. If you can lock up one, you need to go, you know, nuts. You know, try to try to get the the majority of the players to uh, to get out of there and you know win, go heads up and then try to you know win the. Well, you, you know how to win a bomb pot. Well, here I bet a hundred. Dan makes the call. I wrap the table. Tell him he made a good call. And I, what I want you to know is I own Dan. When I say I own Dan, I mean Dan never beats me, and he'll tell you. Like I'm up cars on Dan, up houses. I'm not up houses on Dan, but I'm up cars on Dan, and. 
I want to show Dan that I can take it easy on him. And I checked the turn and I checked the river with obviously the best hand. So Dan, you're welcome. I took it easy on you. You couldn't even beat me when I didn't even try. That's how bad you are. Oh, look at him. Get him. I'm going to get a little bit of and they can't even beat me. Please teach me how to play at him because you're the best player I've ever seen in my life. I'm assuming that's what he said. I'm reading between the lines. I have actually no idea if that's what he said. But I think it's what he said. Okay, the game is over for now. I don't know if we're gonna play tonight or not. Uh, well, we are probably gonna play. Security is walking us out, we're in big trouble. Uh, in for $2,000 for me, out for $33.17. Uh, I don't know about Dan and Grace, I don't care. So if you like these videos, do me a favor. Dan, what should they do? Hit that bell, subscribe. Yeah, hit, subs the, hit, the, hit the thumbs up thing. Thumbs up, subscribe, bell, like, share. Okay. Tell all your friends, go to church and tell the, put up, put me on the prayer thing to everybody pray for the vlog. And we will see you, we will see you soon. Peace out from Austin. This is us, the dark and light, the fire always will be all right. I never thought I would take for granted. And hide neath the weeds A seed that I had planted That meant so much to me So much to me